So spreader sticker. I would not think of spraying an insecticide, herbicide, uh, bug weed killers, uh, even miticides, spider mites. They get this powdery kind of web looking to it, like, like your uh, junipers will have webbing on it, but you can't see any spiders. That's spider mites. They're very difficult to kill with a bug killer. Well, what spreader sticker does, you add this to your, let's say tank sprayer, or you'll pre-spray it with a hose and sprayer, then right afterwards spray it with your regular bug killer. What this does is it allows the, whatever killer is to penetrate deeper into uh, that, that plant. And so for spider mites, it'll, it'll take that bug killer, let's say an oil or cyanara or in Malathon, whatever it is, it helps it just penetrate right through and it really knocks down, it doubles the knockdown rate for insects. For weeds, you'll get a kill rate twice as fast. So what happens with uh, weeds is they'll have a real slick, waxy coating. So the weed killer will get on there and beat up and roll off. Spreader sticker, if you add that to the same tank sprayer, doesn't allow that to happen. It coats it and penetrates. Or uh, your native -y type of, of weeds have a real fuzzy kind of textured foliage to it. So the, the weed killer will float on top of that leaf. It doesn't allow it to penetrate through. Spreader sticker helps it to get through all that and get right to the plant tissue so you get a much better knockdown rate. So whenever we're spraying anything here at the garden center, we always, always add spreader sticker to that because it just makes it work better, faster. You'll be able to use half the product. It'll make your product go, go farther. And so whether you're spraying Roundup or a bug killer, spreader sticker is a must in your yard. So that's how you use spreader sticker here at Waters Garden Center.